what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can share our files like movies video files documents and stuff like that on our home network without using home group now home group has been uh, removed uh, from windows 10 so you can't use it anymore but you can still share files uh, on your home network uh, by this method I'm going to show you right now so let's get started and I'll show you how to do it I think this message was brought up on the forums and uh, I wanted to make a video to show you so first off let's go to the start button and go to settings here now on the settings pane you want to go to network and internet click on this one and uh, when you look here, you should see uh, your Ethernet. This is my main computer, which I am doing my tutorial on. And you can see here the private network right here. And uh, you can change your connection properties right here when you look. So you can see here, this is our uh, network profile. You can see we are private and that is how you want to keep it. So keep it on a private setting here. And uh, once you've done that, we can go down up to status here. And uh, what we want to do is come down. We can now go to where it says uh, sharing options. Inside sharing options, you're going to get a bunch of features inside here which you can share. And uh, we're going to take a look at those right now. So this is the actual pane here. Uh, so when you're looking at this, you may uh, see something like this. So you can leave the private section here. Leave this on turn on network and discovery turn on automatic setup of network connections and devices leave that uh, uh, enabled there also file and printer sharing if you are sharing files and printer sharing I would leave this enabled that's pretty much okay there because you are on private uh, guest and public you probably won't need to worry about this but just leave this as turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing next we're going to go to the all networks here move down to this section and uh, you can see here uh, we've got turn off public folder sharing people logged on to this computer can still access uh, folders I'm gonna leave that as is and uh, we can now move down to where it says uh, file sharing connections if you look here we have got it set to uh, use 128 bit encryption to help protect file sharing connections this is recommended so leave this here now on very rare occasions you may have to uh, have this enabled here 40 or 56 bit encryption but it's very rare um, so we're going to leave that on that uh, setting there now this is the important part here password uh, protection sharing here and uh, when password protected sharing is on only people who have a user account and a password on this computer can access the sharing files I don't want to do that so I'm just going to turn this part off and turn off password and protected sharing and now we can go in to choose our media streaming options here and uh, once we get inside here we can now look uh, for uh, items that we want to allow to come through and uh, access our folders or, or videos or movies or documents on our network now remember this is on our local network which is on our home so don't worry about it going uh, outside people from the outside coming in this is on our local network so that's fine now you may have a list of stuff inside here which you don't want to allow to connect and you can just remove the ticks uh, from those now these are items that have been on your network and uh, they may be listed here but you may not be using those and you can just remove those if you wish if you've got TVs and stuff like that uh, it just depends on what you want to do so if you want to allow everything just allow all and that would then um, allow everything on your home network to access whatever you want it to access but if you've got unknown devices or things that you don't want to allow access to then you can just uh, uh, turn those off okay so you can see here now we're getting some other bits and pieces showing up here and these are other computers that are on on here so I'm just going to remove some of this stuff uh, media programs on this PC of remote connections so I'm just going to remove that as well and if you want to uh, click OK here you can do so I'm going to click OK and we're pretty much done there now so we can close that off and we can close this off so from here now what we want to do is we want to find our drive or our folders that we want to share stuff uh, to so basically we're going to go into our Explorer 
and I've got mine inside here. Now you can share pretty much anything on here as you wish, uh, whether it be documents, uh, pictures, videos and stuff like that. This is all normally the normal stuff that you want to. You can do whole drives if you want to, the whole uh, drive. But I'm just going to do this uh, area along here. So I'm going to right click here and go to give access to and you will see a couple of own groups here. Ignore those, they will be removed in time. You can remove access and also give Pacific app access to people. So let's click on this. Now, once you've got this open here, you can either give access to other people uh, or you can give access to everyone. So use the drop down uh, menu here and I'm going to go everyone and I'm going to add these in here. Now you can see there is everyone listed here and you can now give them read read and write or remove access. So it depends on what you want to do. I'm just going to leave it as read. And what that's going to do is allow them to view the files and watch them if they're movies or read the files or documents and stuff like that. But they won't be able to edit them. If you give them read and write access, they'll be able to edit those files and then delete them or do whatever they want. OK, so that's how I'm going to do it here. I'm going to leave it as read. You want to now go uh, share on here. So go share. You can now see that it has now been listed. And we can now click done. Now, if you want to see what you're sharing at all times, you can do that by going into File Explorer. Come up the top here. And what you want to do is click on this up the top. And you want to do backslash backslash so like that and then local host and this will tell you what you're sharing so you can see we are sharing uh, movies you can see the little green pipe here which is means it's sharing on your network here and that is now done and now if i go over to my uh, say laptop and I can then see if we can see those files being shared on our network so let's go over there and check that one out and it will be on pretty much any device on your home network that you are sharing that file with as long as you've done exactly what I'm doing here so here we are on a laptop here I'm just gonna go to file explorer and open up file explorer here go to the network on the left hand side ignore the home group because this hasn't been updated in a while and you should see any sort of a uh, computer that's sharing files on your network. You can now see the computer. I'm going to click on movies and there is all the movies, but I've got access to these now on this uh, device or any device that I'm sharing uh, files with on the home network here. So I can go here and uh, click on this one here if I wanted to. So I'm just going to go in here and I'll click on uh, this file and I'll just show you it works okay. So just click on play and there we go. And that will start playing just like so. And uh, as you can see there, the file was working fine. And that's basically how you can share uh, media on your home network without using home group. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one helps you out, guys. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video. Bye for now. now if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.